A Boston man who went on an out of control rant against two black motorcyclists on his street has been charged with disorderly conduct and may also be charged with a hate crime. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more stories about people who, fuck, I can't even. This all started with a car crash at the corner of Beaumont and Adams Streets in Dorchester, Massachusetts. A motorist was fleeing an earlier hit and run, crashed again, and then tried to get away on foot. But then because of that, the street was closed off and traffic was diverted into other residential blocks. That's when Nene Judge Mayo and her friend pulled over to the side of the road on their motorcycles to try and figure out where they were. I totally get that because I'm personally directionally challenged and anytime there's any type of detour, I'm like, wait, where am I? According to them, when they were pulled over, this guy wandered up to them and just started railing on them. It is a really tough video to watch and makes me so angry. But I'm not playing this to my neighborhood. I don't get, I didn't bring here. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't yeah, know yeah, me. Yeah, no, I do you know, know you, people. Me. Yeah. What's my name? You, you live here? You live you here? You live, you, live here? Why? you live here? You live here? Why? You live here? I'm not being shot. Stay I'm not why? being yeah, there are a lot of racial dog whistles in his language. From saying, I know you people, I don't want the in my neighborhood, and suggesting that he's more likely to be shot because of their presence. Nene said she didn't even know who he was screaming at at first. She said, I looked around like, who is he arguing with? When he came straight to me, I immediately pulled out my phone. I literally did nothing wrong. Now I'm so cautious as to where I ride my bike. Where Nene and her friend live seem to be of real importance to this guy who's like actively trying to make them seem like they're outsiders. I want this we, in my neighborhood. No, I don't want this in my neighborhood. You live in this neighborhood? I ask you, I ask you, do you live in the neighborhood? Eventually, a very tall police officer shows up and asks the guy to back off. And the guy's like hilariously despondent that the cop's not buying into his argument. Do you live in the neighborhood? Ask her, ask her. I don't care where she lives. It's none of my yeah. business where she lives. This is my neighborhood. No, this this is my neighborhood. Too. I pay. No, yeah. ask her. Ask. I pay rent. Don't yell at. No, now you're taking out of me. Nene shared the video to her Facebook, where it's been seen over 800,000 times. The ranter has been identified as 54-year-old Paul Sheehan. He was arraigned on disorderly conduct charges, and Boston Civil Rights Unit is investigating to see if he should also be charged with a hate crime. While you can't hear any specific epithets in the video. The police report says that he was arrested after repeatedly yelling that N-word and trying to knock over a stop sign. And the arrest took place 90 minutes after the confrontation with Nene and her husband. What the hell was the cop waiting for? Sheehan is a welder for Keolis Commuter Services, which operates the Transportation Authority's commuter rail system. A spokesperson for the company told the Boston Globe, we have absolutely no tolerance for this type of reprehensible conduct or language in or outside the workplace. The matter is under investigation and we don't comment on personnel matters. But a local reporter says that Keolis is in the process of removing Sheehan from service. Now, it's very amusing that this chowda head is wearing a New England Patriots vest. Cause duh, of course he'd be a Patriots fan. I'll say no more. But Nene's got a lot of Pat's love on her Facebook page as well. So if you were looking at this as the perfect way to hate on the Patriots, this probably isn't it. But this is. Well, third down and five here. And now you got to flip back here to Danny uh -oh. Amendola who throws and it's Brady who can't haul it in. <laughs> Never gets old. Now, this officer has received some praise for effectively de-escalating the situation, but Others online think he's getting too much of a pat on the back for doing, as they say, the bare minimum. One commenter on the route wrote, true, he de-escalated the situation, but did he ask the victim if she wanted to press charges? Did he ask the man for his ID so that she could press charges on her own if she chose to? And Dr. Oldspy said, no cookies to police for doing the bare minimum of their job and giving the clear aggressor the chance to be gently herded back into his house instead of tased and locked up. What black man would have walked away from this alive after screaming in a white woman's face? Listen, my hope is that people in law enforcement are working more towards the herding for everybody across all communities instead of the just shoot and see what happens thing. What do you guys think? Should Paul Sheehan lose his Pat season tickets and his job? Let us know in the comments and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.